Sharing games can be a bit tricky, but hopefully after watching this video, you'll be able to share games with your friends and family. Hi guys, my name is Vic, and this is Travis. And in today's video, I'm going to show how you can share digital games on the Nintendo Switch. Whether you're the owner or the one sharing games, here's what you need to know when you want to game share. This is an important disclaimer. Use this at your own risk. Your account information is confidential. So just make sure when you're sharing account details, it's only with people you know and trust. Before you start game sharing, you need to know a few terms first. Let's start with the owner account. This is the account where the game was purchased. For our example, we want to share the game Dark Souls. Ryan purchased this game on his account, so his account is the owner account. Primary console. Once an owner selects a console as a primary console, any user can play purchased games with or without an internet connection. Ryan set his yellow Nintendo Switch Lite as a primary console. If you want to change the primary console setting, this is what you have to do. Using the owner account on the primary console, log in to the Nintendo eShop. Head on over to the upper right hand of the screen to the user photo. Select it, then head to the bottom of the screen. You should be able to see the primary console set. Once deregistered, you can now choose which switch will be your primary console. Secondary console. Once a primary console has been selected, other consoles where the owner account has been registered will automatically be a secondary console. In this case, we added his account to our family switch, which makes our switch the secondary console. There are a few restrictions for the secondary console when playing purchased games. You will always need to be connected to the internet to play the games. Only the owner account will be able to play the purchased games on the secondary console. Just in case you're wondering, this is what you'll see when you try to access the game using a non-owner account. When the owner account accesses the game on the primary console, the game will be paused or suspended on the secondary console. And this is how it looks like. What if you wanted to play at the same time? You still have a workaround here. You just have to use a different user on the primary console. And you have to use the owner account on the secondary console. And that should allow you to play the games at the same time. For people with more than two consoles, this is a bit more challenging since you'll never be able to play the same game across three consoles at the same time. So you just need to take turns while playing the game. And finally, here's what you've been waiting for. In order to share your digital games on the secondary console, you just have to use the owner account, log into the Nintendo eShop, and head on over to the purchase game, and just hit download. Remember, you just have to do this on the secondary console using the owner account. And that's it. And that's how you share digital games on the Nintendo Switch. If you found this video to be helpful, make sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions regarding the Nintendo Switch. And put in the games that you want to share with your friends and family. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button so that you never miss my next video. Stay safe and see you in the next one. Peace! Peace.